We're going to show everybody how to install the front license plate bracket clear bra protection piece. So let's get in closer and let's learn what this is all about. First of all, when we got our Model 3s, we got this double-sided adhesive tape and a front license plate bracket that we have to install on the car. A lot of people would like to protect this from damaging the paint, which can happen with this 3M VHB stuff. It's super strong. If you put this on your car and leave it there for six months, a year or more, and you ever want to take it off or sell it, you could rip the paint off, damage the paint, scratch the clear coat. So this is our solution and we call it the front end license plate wrap protection rectangle. Basically this works just like our HOV stickers. This also can be used by someone that wants to have a front license plate ticket signed off on. So if you want a temporary hold and you wanna put it on your car, put the bracket on, put your plate on, take it down to a police station and have your ticket sold uh, signed off, then you can remove it and wait till you get your next fix it ticket. Uh, this is popular in California because we love the look of the Model 3 without this bracket. So, again, we think this has two purposes one, long term protection, paint protection, and also the temporary use it, um, uh, get a ticket signed off, and you're good to go with removing it simply when you get home. So, let's show you how to put it on and take it off. Again, this is supposed to be centered according to Tesla. It tells you to put it on underneath, remove the tape and stick it on. Okay, so let's install this and show everybody how easily you can remove the plate when you wanna take it off. If it's temporary or permanent, we just leave it on. So we need to decide where we want to put the film. So I recommend getting some tape, a couple pieces of blue painter's tape and let's center it. So with the RPM PPF not on the car, put your bracket on, figure out where it goes, and let's mark these corners. So we're marking the corners just so we know where to put the film. So the corners are done and the top is done. Now this top piece is gonna mark where, what's visible, what's not visible, because you don't wanna see this line on the PPF film. So that's it. So this red mark here, we know the plate's gonna go, frame's gonna go right on here. So let's get started. So in your package, we gave you a squeegee and you're gonna use rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol is gonna help make sure this is super tacky and make sure you have really good adherence. We're basically gonna take this piece, we're gonna put it right here below the line, just like that, about a quarter inch. And then we're gonna tape the double-sided adhesive tape on the bracket and put it right on here. So watch how easy it is to install this. Uh, get your fingers a little wet with your alcohol and we don't get fingerprints, even though this is going to be completely behind the frame. So lay the little square down, spray both and position it. So we know we need to be below the tape and right about there, side to side, all the way down, and that's it. Take your squeegee, squeegee it down. Now this is gonna dry and adhere very quickly. Um, again, you can remove it if you need to, but this is gonna hold onto the paint very nicely and it'll be completely protected with 3M Scotchgard Pro paint protection film. The next step is planning out where this is gonna go. You see it's gonna go right on here. You're gonna center it from this corner to that corner, right on there. And all this adhesive is gonna to stick to the paint protection film and not to your car's paint. And this is gonna end right at the bottom. It's gonna be a perfect fit. So let's show everybody exactly how this works. So this is super tacky double-sided adhesive tape. Don't put it on the car. Center it like this, figure out where the T is, get ready to put it on, line up the bottom, and it's just a simple one, two, three, check your corners, and 
press it on right there. Now, this is stuck to the paint protection film, not to the paint on your bumper. And you can screw the bracket in and put the license plate on and you're good to go. If you ever want to take it off, it's going to be pretty hard to get off. But if you take it off, you're not going to mess your paint up. You're only going to pull off the double-sided adhesive tape. So let's talk about removal. If for any reason you sell the car, you move to a state where you don't want to have a license plate on the front, or you simply want to only use this to get rid of a fix-it ticket, here's how we recommend you, you remove it. You simply use a heat gun or a hair dryer and heat it up from the top and get it warm. Warm air will make the adhesive melt and it will release. Okay, let's go back to the Model 3 license plate and let's take a look at the vehicle now. So after this has been installed, you've had your ticket signed off, you want to remove it or you sell the car, let's take a look at what happens. Just simply grab it from the top, this is completely unrehearsed, and apply some pressure and pull it, pull it until it comes loose. Now take a look inside and see what we got. In this case, the entire bracket has come off with the RPM Tesla license plate remover piece. Now sometimes this might stick on the car and sometimes it might come with the plate bracket. Either way, you're fine. You can leave it on the car if you want. Uh, but in this case, because of the Ceramic Pro and because of the clear bra paint protection film, mine has come off. If the clear bra material is stuck to the license plate bracket, just put down the transfer tape backing paper, stick it to the material, put it back in your trunk or in your RPM Tesla trunk organizer. Fits nicely in there. You'll be all set to go next time. You got to take care of a fix-it ticket. Thanks again, RPM Tesla.